Hey everyone, I'm getting ready to leave for church. It's about 6.45, but I just came to check on Chickalina. There she is. There's Big Daddy. Oh. oh no. I upset him now. Oh boy. They were all quiet. Oh, I upset them all. Even you? Are you upset? Oh, my hand went numb. And dropped the phone. That's my life. <laughs> Good grief. I feel bad now that I disturbed them all. You're gonna calm them down while I'm going? I'm trying to make sure they're all in this yard because they've been in my yard the last two hours. Well, there's Lady Jane. So I think they're all over here now. So I can close this gate. And they'll be okay till I come home. Um, boy, they got into my yard like the last two hours. And I really don't like the um, gosling over here because, you know, I'm taking these off and putting on my church shoes. I used to know someone that used to say, when they were getting um, their shoes on for church, they'd call it, go to meeting shoes. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? I don't mind the chickens over here, but the gosling, I really don't care to be in my yard because, you know, Luz has a goose, and tomorrow I will have to hose down this concrete I don't have time tonight, but I will in the morning, and um, I don't even know, did I lock the door? Look at my steps, I'm still asking the Lord to send me help. Did I lock this? Yep. So, um, Chickalina. Silky dad, big silky daddy, and the little rooster, and even Raphael was in my yard all day. And then, like I said, the last two hours, everyone found their way over here. So, tomorrow I've got a lot of picking up to do. Well, rinsing off, I should say. Now, oh. Can you believe I don't know where the keys are? Oh, in my pocket. Can you believe that? I would have been looking for them. We've been having a, um, on Thursday night, a young evangelist and his wife preaching for us. I think they're in their thirties. <clears throat> and, um, my pastor invited him to come preach every Thursday in August, and I believe he did. Can you believe I didn't make it to a Thursday night in August because I was, um, well, just having neurological problems? And then I think um, in September he started to come, and... I still didn't get to hear him because he ended up breaking his foot. And of course he couldn't drive and couldn't be up on his foot preaching. And so tonight's gonna be the first night I get to hear him. But I have heard from people at my church and um, some other people that know him that he preaches real good. Oh, I can show you this before I, you see this? All that dirt there and 
not not the dark brown that's coffee grind but this you see those little holes um, and I think over here oh yeah right there that is all fire ant mounds my whole terracotta thing is full of fire ants someone told me like five or six years ago if you put coffee grinds on them it's supposed to stop them but it <laughs> It sure doesn't. They're they're making holes through the coffee grinds. So I need to get that taken care of because those mounds, they will it'll get like the whole length of my fence that way and that way. They're they're just terrible. And um I have walked into fire ant mounds before, not knowing. And boy they tear you up. Back home we don't have those. We got um red ants back in Massachusetts and black ants but and I guess the red ants do bite a little bit but I never saw mounds like I see down here in Texas like there there and I've showed you bigger mounds out by the lake <clears throat> so I'm gonna head off look at those stairs I think now I'm going to take one more look. It looks like all the chickens went in, but you know who is still out. Let's go see. Yep. Everyone went in. This here, um, waiting for that noisy truck to go by. This thing here, my landlord's uncle dumped off here when he gave me the chicken coop. And he used to use that little thing to store his hay and straw and feed in for his chickens. And um, I had thought in the beginning I would use it. And I think one time I did put feed in and ouch, just got a sliver and um yep got a sliver hold on um I had put a bag of feet in it and we got rain and um it got soaked and got it was no good to give to the chickens so I really need to have that thing chopped up and taken out of there it's in the way and it's useless. The wood inside is rotting. And that's too bad because that would be perfect to use, you know, when I have uh, little peeps. But it's just uh, not good inside. So I feel like I dropped something. All right, I got to go. And I'll talk to everyone tomorrow.